Yeah. Now that you've spent a year at university, well, now that you've finished your first year of university, what's the one habit you've changed living on your own? Or is there any habit that you've changed living on your own you just thought, right, mum and dad have always done this, I'm going to do it my way? I've noticed, and I don't know if this could be a reasonable answer, but I feel bad for not doing anything when I'm at home. So if like I'm having a lazy day, I definitely feel bad for having a lazy day. Whereas obviously okay. when I'm at uni, it doesn't really matter. No, but sure. But I guess being able to eat whatever I want, but then again, we do that anyway, really, don't we? No, sure. We kind of do that. I remember yeah. when I was like, the first thing I did, uh, it wasn't necessarily doing something differently, but I just had a lot of like chicken dippers and like <laughs> um, waffles yeah. and hoops. Sweet potato fries, I just think. Really? I'm going to say that's not something we usually do, is it? So. No, no, that's not true. Not true. That is true. In first year as well, we did the thing with the roast dinners where every Sunday we'd actually go, make, like, go out of our way to make a roast dinner. And I think it was because everyone I was living with in first year was very family orientated as well. And they were used to doing it. So we're like, well, why don't we, as our family, mm -hmm. do this kind of thing? Mm -hmm. And it was great. We'd, you know, we'd always sit in the chairs afterwards and we'd... Yeah. We'd be really, really full. And that was something that we carried on from yeah. home, I guess. But, yeah, there was... I'm trying to think of something that I've been, like, immediately when I, I got there. I don't know, I honestly can't. Because as parents go, easy going vibes, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. 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 <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I am so sorry that I said Dumbly. that. Dumbly. Dumbly. Who says that? What? Absolutely, absolutely. It's Leslie Nope when absolutely. she's uh, really enthusiastic about being able to run for office. Absolutely, absolutely. I am so sorry. Should <laughs> I get one of these? Yeah, absolutely. Making a gluten free cake for Dad's birthday. Because he is a celiac. Something good. Have we got enough, do you think? I'm going to get one baking powder just because the other one went out of date. Right, fair enough. Okay, kids, we've got the uh, cake ingredients now. We're just going to go and meet up with Mum and hopefully buy some presents for Dad. I've just had a shot of Prosecco in m and <laughs> It's been quite an eventful morning already. So you'll be thoroughly pleased to know that my kazoo has arrived and I'm now going to play the melody of the song while playing the acoustic guitar at the same time with the kazoo in my mouth. Whoever you are, Victor Schmidt, the man behind these chocolates, whoever you are, Mozart. Thank you. Thank you so much. A single oboe. So I'm back. I actually had a bit of a day off yesterday because it was my dad's 60th birthday. I, I know what you're saying, it's technically a song in eight days now, but I don't really mind because it's not every day that your dad turns 60. So I figured let's have a family day and we're back on it today. So I'm actually doing something quite different today. My friends Dan and Hannah have just moved into their first house. So I'm going to be helping them sort of put furniture together and paint and things like that. So yeah, I figured I'd uh, 
I'd sort of document some of that because that kind of ties in because these two are really like family to me. Um, they're two very close friends and it's great to sort of help them with this sort of stage in their life. So yeah, I've, uh, I've decided to wear clothes that are more suitable for painting. I've got some excellent shorts on. I look like a sort of eight year old boy on holiday about 20 years ago, which almost lines up with my actual life, believe it or not. So yeah, lots of fun ahead. So we're just putting a TV on the wall. Dan's got Dan Cam on. Um, Dan Cam Central. Dan Cam Central. Yeah, just taking this bad boy off the wall because it's the <laughs> wrong way around. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're the same size. What are they? Are they the same size? Uh, yes. They're very similar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know then. Oof. It has to be exactly right. It well, does. It does have tell, to be exactly you right. Can tell me. Did you <laughs> have a nice birthday? Yeah, he did actually. It was a really nice evening. The um, food did that. Yeah, I was saying to Dan, I had like a trio of fish. Uh, so it was um, soul yeah. with a capital S. Um, better call soul. Uh, better call soul. The fish. Um, and um, what else was there? Um, I hope that's that's all right there, isn't it? fish and and salmon. And they were in this like kind of light. It's batter. changed. It was different a minute ago. Oh God, yeah. What you was said it? something different. Though. <laughs> Did you go? <laughs> nah, nah. I'm just making up the whole thing because it's infinitely more interesting. I just sat at home and stared at a wall. <laughs> <laughs> and thought about whether Dad's going to go to the same gym still. <laughs> oh dear! Mm. Significant changes in Dan's life. Ooh, I, bet, I, I better make up three fish that'll be convinced <laughs> them and actually done something in my life. I mean, I think if he was going to make it up, he'd go something more bog standard, like, yeah, I'd want to know something like that. A trio, a trio, a trio of fish. Cod, cod, and cod. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go for Jeff Camp now. <laughs> you what? No, no, Dan Cam. It makes you wonder how they actually filmed Peep Show without, you know, this. Oh, yes. Well, they didn't have GoPros chairs. then, did they? Mm -hmm. Sure, isn't it? It's been a hell of a day, hasn't it? <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, we've accomplished quite a lot of things. Look, yes. I will see you, see you see tomorrow you for more Bye. things. No, it's been a pleasure. Cheers. Let go, and then I'll do that. <laughs> like George Bush. <laughs> look at that. Cut open the door. Yeah, that's it. Bye. All right. See you, mate. Yes. Look, look, isn't that that's oddly symbolic? Yeah. Lovely. Well, it has been an action-packed day, but I've got to get home and I've got to get writing. Because uh, as lovely as it is to do this kind of thing, I actually haven't made any progress on the song. Thinking about it, though, I have decided that maybe I'm going to move out of 4-4 four, four and go into 6-8, just to make it a little bit more folky. That's just an idea I've had in the background today. Oh, see ya. Mmm. You can see me again now. Yeah, so I am going to move it into 6-8 and just make it a little bit more like that. Um... I ought to look at the lyrics tonight, actually. I mean, it's only half past ten, so the night is young, you know? Gotta crack on. So when I got in last night, I'll be honest, I didn't do anything at all on the song. I was just so tired from working at Dan and Hannah's. I just got in, got into bed, and I fell asleep straight away. It is actually my plan to get the basis of the track down today, rather than working on the lyrics, which is still sort of stewing over. I haven't really developed since the letter, but hopefully the pressure will allow me to kind of put it together in this short space of time. Oh, I'm just being joined by the dog. Hello, friend. Hello. Look at him. But yes, I'm gonna put all the track together, hopefully with some guitar, bass, tambourine, obviously, ocarina, a bit of kazoo, and then of course my voice. So yes, I'm just going to create a track that I will sing over when I actually record the vocals. <laughs> Hello, friend. OK, 
Okay, so I've got the guitar and the bass done. I'm now going to move on to some of the other slightly more experimental elements. Now, I've been playing the ocarina on top of the track, and I'll be honest, I am the worst ocarina player in the entire universe. But who knows, I might be able to get it to work. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to arrange some vocal parts to go underneath the whole sort of texture. Um, but I'm actually going to do it on the kazoo and try and make it sound quite interesting. So I'm going to get my good old friend Sibelius out and arrange something like that with some nice little moving contrapuntal parts and then hopefully I'll be able to record that on the kazoo which is not a sentence I thought I'd ever hear myself say but here we are. So in a moment of total, um, I don't know, madness I guess I've actually decided to mic up my piano stool. Who knows if this will work? I don't want to use a snare drum in this scenario, it just seems a bit too boring. So yeah, let's see what it sounds like when I put a microphone on this and a drum on it. I've got up a little bit earlier um, because, as you can probably hear, at the start of the day, for whatever reason, my voice ends up being a little bit lower, a little bit croakier. If there's any scientific basis behind that, that's amazing, but I just tend to find that I can sort of reach a lot lower notes. So because this is towards the bottom of my range, I've uh, I've got up a bit earlier in order to be able to record those, those parts. So I'm just finishing off the lyrics now, because uh, obviously I need to know what words I'm singing. Also, I'm crouching down, not just because I want to, I'm tired, but you know, and I haven't had this tea yet. I'm also crouching down because I haven't framed myself very well, so, so here we are. It's really rainy outside today and this one doesn't really want to go out, do you? No, you want to stay inside and keep warm. Although I do need to let him out, actually. I feel like otherwise we could have some kind of disaster. Let's look at him. Hello? Hello? You bored of me? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Well, let's put you out then. No! You said. Okay, so the lyrics are done, which is great. I can finally record that. I've also finished all the kazoo parts, which again, I can't really get over how ridiculous that actually is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to meditate before I do that, because I'm feeling myself starting to slip into a cycle of tension. So I want to get the best out of the performance, and this is often the best way to do it. Okay, so I've got the first batch of vocals done. I'm just going to have a little bit of a break now and then head back to it. So, I'm on schedule, which is great for a final day, I'll be honest. Okay, so as part of my break, I actually nipped out to the bank. And I literally only got out of the car for two seconds and I got absolutely soaked. It is totally miserable out there today. But yes, anyway, got to crack on with the vocals now, and then that will be all the recording done. So, I can move on to mixing after that. Hooray! There really wasn't that much more to do on vocals, actually. So, unsurprisingly, my hair has not actually dried yet, which is a bit strange. But yes, that is that done. So now I've got to move on to mixing, which could be quite interesting because there's a lot going on. I've got to try and find a way to make that kazoo sound, you know, not like a kazoo, I guess. Yeah, so I've got quite a lot going on in the song and I need to find a way to make it all slot together. So, I'll get Dumplin' up here and make myself a cup of tea and then we'll be into the final stages of the song, believe it or not. I can't believe we've finally got here again. And here we are again, at the end. The song is done, the mixing is all finished, and I'm, I'm really pleased with it. It's quite a different song to anything I've done before, and it's been quite a journey. I think I have achieved what I set out to achieve, which is to make the last seven days a lot more pleasant than they could have been. I think I've explored a lot of things that are important to me, and that are important to a lot of other people too. 
But anyway, I really hope you enjoy it, and I really hope you've enjoyed watching again. And I will be back in June for another song in seven days. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, and of course, I will see you soon. If we cannot see Yeah.